Good afternoon, everyone. We welcome you today to talk about wedges, actually. Um, and hopefully you find some of this very interesting and uh, educational. So talk a little bit about the agenda. We're going, to, uh, we're going to tell you how we design wedges, some of the different nomenclature around wedges, some, some of the places where they're used. And then we're going to, we're going to let you uh, also see how you can request a wedge from us. And last but not least, how you can get one of our uh, brand new wedge posters. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Jeff Anderson. I'm the president and GM at Sensor Networks. I started my career actually 35 years ago designing thickness gauges and flaw detectors for Kraut Kramer. Um, my last position before I joined Sensor Networks was as the uh, president and global general manager of G Inspection Technologies. Sensor Networks uh, was started in 2014. Um, we make ultrasonic transducers as our main product line and installed sensors. We're headquartered in State College, Pennsylvania, um, and also with offices in Hong Kong and uh, in Houston. At this point, there's about 75 people at Sensor Networks. We've been growing actually very rapidly. And uh, you, can, you can see from the slide here that we're, uh, we're serving a lot of major customers in the aerospace oil and gas and nuclear industries. So let's talk about ultrasonic wedges, what, what we're really here for today. If you look at the anatomy of a UT wedge, it's actually quite interesting and, and much more um, engineering and technology driven than a lot of people think. All these wedges are designed with, with 3D modeling um, in very tough situations. We actually use SIVA to do to do the acoustic portion of the mod of the modeling, um, first thing you have to decide really is what transducer you're using with a wedge. It could be conventional, it could be phased array. Um, then you need to know the material you're trying to shoot sound into, and really the refracted angle that you're trying to put the sound into the part in. Then it's really a choice of the materials that you're going to use for the wedge itself. And those materials are, you know, when we buy them, are ultrasonically verified and certified before we buy them. Um, then it's really about the design of the wedge. You know, you're trying to cancel out all the acoustic noise in that, in that part other than the signal that you want to see. Um, we're, using a, we're using our own custom um, damping material, a low noise blue damping material that you find on a lot of our wedges. Uh, coupled with that, there's a lot of other options you can get with the wedge. You know, you can have you can have irrigation ports, you can have different gimbling mounting situations. And then sort of last but not least, when we dis when we manufacture these wedges, we're actually using we're we're using five axis CNC mills to precision machine the surfaces of the wedges and, and all, the, all the mechanical features. Now let's talk about custom wedges and configurations. Um, custom wedges, they can range from, you know, most wedges, a lot of wedges are flat wedges where a custom wedge will be either a different angle or a refraction into a different material other than carbon steel. That's sort of on the the low end of complexity, but you know, anyone doing, as you look at this slide, anyone doing round surfaces or specifically pipes needs a radius wedge. And in fact, the latest ASME boiler pressure vessel code specifies that for, for most radiuses, you need to have a radius wedge to do that inspection. And if you look at this slide, you can see you know, either you're on an ID surface where you're looking for circumferential or axial flaws, or an OD surface where you're looking for circumferential or axial flaws. Along with flat and radius probes, there's a lot of wedges, there's a lot of special purpose wedges out there. If you look at this slide, you can see that, you know, there's integral wedges to the transducers themselves, both for phased array and conventional. 
there are many different varieties of phased array wedges, either skewed or multi-radius wedges, dual wedges with irrigation ports, and then finally there's a lot of wedges where you have um, different ring assemblies or gimbal mounting points to be used in scanners or different fixtures. Probably the biggest thing that we do at Sensor Networks is we are very vertically integrated when it comes to wedge manufacturing. So all the design and all the manufacturing are all done here in the facility under one roof. Um, we use SolidWorks and SIVA to do the design and modeling of complex wedges, both mechanically and acoustically. And then we use five axis CNC CAD CAM milling machines to actually produce those wedges. Through our latest design of both mechanical and acoustic damping materials, on average, we've been able to achieve anywhere from three to six dB better signal to noise ratio than our competitors. And the next two slides are gonna show you our quick change um, wedge design for angle beam inspection and our AWS wedge for weld inspection compared to our competitors W and O. One of the things we want to offer you is our marketing team has put together a great poster showing all the different wedge configurations, um, Snell's Law, and, and really a lot of good educational information. We've made a number of these posters. Please send us a request. We'll send you a free copy of that poster. You can see it at customer care at sensornetworksinc.com, and we'd love to send you one. We want to thank you for joining us today. You can reach us anytime at, the, at my personal email address listed below or the customer care email address below. Please try our new custom RFQ form for custom wedges, both for conventional and phased array. We've done a lot of work vertically integrated to get you custom wedges in a short amount of time. Give us, uh, give us an opportunity and please, when the, uh, when the world gets better and COVID has, has uh, cleaned itself, please come visit us at, uh, at our new facility at 366 Walker Drive in State College, PA. Thank you.